Denville police officer Thomas Cottrell was killed one year ago today, but he continues to make an impact on the community he served. NBC4 photojournalist John Edwards, he rode around with one of Cottrell's fellow officers to find out how they and the community are coping. He's everywhere. He's, he is throughout this community, uh, throughout the ballparks, the schools. In the small country village of Danville, population of about a thousand, the police department tries to heal. There's not a day that goes by that we don't think about Tom or his family. Everywhere, you can see signs of love and compassion. But the outpouring of support on a daily basis, even, you know, from, from the community is it's amazing. Photos, plaques, and prayers decorate the municipal building in front of the police department. All of them pay respect to Officer Thomas Cottrell. Oh, I know you've been cooped up all day. Yes. You want to take a break? Huh? During the past year, the Danville police force doubled its size. They've added Come three on. police dogs, one for each shift, all from community support. They donated proceeds from basketball games and football games and uh, auctions. And it's amazing the, the amount of support. And, and the love that people gave to the Danville Police Department. Flowers and a cross remain where Officer Thomas Cottrell died after being gunned down. When you pull into this department, if it doesn't cross your mind what happened here, and if you don't remember and pay some kind of reverence to, to the reality, then there's something wrong with you. You're probably, you don't belong in this line of work. John Edwards, NBC4, Danville. Officer Cottrell was best known for his work to improve police relations and that with young people in the community, particularly through the schools, and they say he is still sorely missed there. And did so much with local Little League programs yeah. as well. His fellow officers, they continue that effort. In fact, last fall, they escorted Cottrell's three daughters and their dates to the homecoming <laughs> dance. That's really being part of the community. Yeah, and I'm sure the dates appreciated. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the armed escort. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, and good for that community. They really are coming together. And as Matt mentioned, they're going to have a, a service of remembrance tonight, and we'll have that for you tonight at 11 o'clock.